guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So why did this episode end on a cliffhanger? Like, why? Uh, just so I can keep the integrity of the video, I did not go quickly check to see whether Demi and Ollie got married. But that leads me to a good point. No spoilers, guys, yeah? Of course, if you spoil it, I'm not gonna like the speed in which I block you. Of course, I'll get exposed, which will be sad, but I'm going to block you. I don't wanna be like that, but I'ma have to because I'm telling you now, just in case, cause some people will be saying, oh, I didn't know, I didn't know. I'm telling you off rip in the intro of this video, we only saw Sabrina and Steven and Tom and Maria. We did not see anything else, anybody else. So don't talk about anything else. I beg, okay guys? But guys, I get to this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You already know, road to 30K. One thing about me, y'all know, I'm gonna be dramatic. But anyways, um, we start by seeing the bachelor and bachelorette parties for my non-UK subscribers and viewers. British slang, or British, the way we say it, we say stag for the men and hen for the women. Maybe it's because a stag, ain't a stag like a deer? Am I talking rubbish, a stag? Stag. Is that a horse? No, a stallion. I think a stag is like a deer, that's a male, I think. This is just me coming off where I'm thinking the origin is. And I think a hen, you know when they say mother hen, it's like, I think, guys, I don't know what the origin story is. But anyways, that's what we call it over here. Well, that's what they call it. I don't call it that, sorry. That's like, for me, cockney slang and I'm not a cockney bird. How am I gonna say I'm not a cockney bird and call myself a bird? Bird also means woman. But guys, let me, let me now move on, anyways. Um, so we find out that Demi won't be meeting Ollie's family member or family members up until the point in which they get married. So I find it interesting. I wonder why that was the case. But it was nice to see when he was speaking at his bachelor party that one of his friends was there. That's not the pod guy Aaron or pod squad guy Aaron. It was somebody else. So that was good at least. Um, Ollie is starting to have some doubts and he's questioning whether hearing about his friend being married for six years and courting his wife and then hearing about Demi's parents being together for so long and courting each other and having that foundation, he's now questioning whether um, he can go through with this process having not had that same degree of foundation that everybody else, that normal relationships have. And guys, with all due respect, all he needs to go where? In the bean. Because that's the whole point of Love is Blind. You are coming on a show and getting married after a month or two. That is literally the crux of the show. I would not, me personally, like, I, if, I, okay, if I wasn't in my career, could I do Love is Blind? Like, do I think I could get married to someone in two months? You know what, possibly. I think maybe because I'm a lover girl, maybe that's why. But I'm not, I'm gonna walk, guys, this is what season, we've had six seasons of the US one. This is season one, um, one of the UK one. I think there's Brazil, there's Mexico, I think there's maybe a, a European, another European country. There's been so many Love is Blind, you know what you're signing up for when you're signing up. So I don't want him to have doubts about something that he should have had doubts before he even started fitting out his name. First name, Ollie. You know me, I'm six foot, blah, blah, blah. I'm of mixed race heritage. Like, when you, before you were even getting down to even filling that application, you should have thought, is this something that I want to do? So it would be a shame if the reason why he doesn't want to marry Demi is about something he knew before he even joined the show and met anybody. So that's what I'm saying on that, but we shall see. Tom and Freddie are having a conversation and I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting the impression that Tom does have commitment issues. I think, don't get me wrong, I definitely still think he is somewhat valid in the way he thinks about Maria, but I do think he has commitment issues and I definitely think that um, he's thankfully understanding that him and Maria are not compatible and let's have that to be the, the, the thing that guides us rather than, so I still think he has commitment issues, but irrespective of that, him understanding that him and Maria are not just like, you know I me, mean, the best things in sliced bread is good. That's why he's thinking. So anyways, the couples end up moving out, moving back home until the altar, until they get married. So the first couple we saw was Sabrina and Steven and they said, let's start off strong. Let's start with the couple that we have no doubts about with. And that's exactly what they did. Sabrina looked beautiful in her dress. I'm so glad she did not pick the one that we saw her in when she, they were going dress shopping. And of course, Stephen looked good because why would Stephen not look good? So, you know what I mean? It, it, they, they, they look good. They had really, really nice vows. And of course, they both said, I do say they are Mr. and Mrs. Smith, which is cute for them. I think, you know what I mean? Every season we need to have those couple or the, that couple that just, you know what I mean? Not everyone needs to be drama. Some people could just be, 
you know, and it's good that he's open to moving to Belfast, she's open to moving to London. So even though it's going to be a difficult decision, the fact that there's a lot of openness between them two, I think is already an amazing start. So my battery's done, so let me hurry this up. Okay, so let me see Tom and Maria's wedding. And Tom is mentioning about two big things why he feels unsure about the relationship one is that they have traditional their traditional values or what they think a man and woman should do differs and then finance again they couldn't have picked two of the more important reasons like two of the most important reasons people get a divorce like literally like roles and finances i'd literally that probably covers most divorces <laughs> you know I me mean? of course other than other situations but the majority probably have something to do with or are solely based on these things so the fact that those two things are things that are troubling him let's listen to that let's 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 move forward in that analysis let's, let's be serious and i think even like again it's yeah it's i don't think especially him being 38 years old and her i think she's like 30 or a little bit older than 30 he's not going to change her way his ways and if she's guided by religion and culture, she's not going to change her ways. So these are two people that are completely on opposite ends and are not fixing to change anytime soon. There's, I don't think there is any in between when they differ so much. I don't think there's any, I don't, I really don't think there's any in between. So hearing them talk, I felt like Maria was like 90% sure she was going to marry him, but Tom was definitely giving a 50 50 tease. His mum ultimately did not come. <laughs> Clearly, by based on what he decided to do, the mum did made the right decision. I thought Maria looked absolutely beautiful, but I think he was even quite telling that they definitely wasn't going to get married. Tom's vows were so mid. I'm not going to lie, guys. They were so mid, and they need to go where in the bin because I just think like it, it wasn't. I don't. I don't know. There was just nothing touchy about it. There was nothing. I don't. I wasn't getting a personal tease from it. I don't know. I wasn't. Even the way he was like, oh yeah, you're beautiful internet. I don't know, just, I don't know. The, the way in which he said it wasn't giving me, I really know this person and I'm really speaking to them. It just gave me a bit of surface. I don't know if I'm looking into it too much. I could be, but I didn't, I wasn't getting the depth, especially now compared to Maria's one. Maria, Maria was really speaking. Maria was really speaking. And I'm just like, um, the, the, the difference between them two for me is quite telling. Hers were very touchy. Hers was very beautiful. Hers was very personal, but Tom didn't give me that same feeling when I was listening. Don't get me wrong, I wasn't listening intently because I hate all these vowel stuff, but from what I got from it, I wasn't feeling it. Anyway, so Tom ended up saying no. Um, he doesn't feel like they're ready to get married. They have big differences that they need to figure out and to see if they're going to be able to fit into each other's lives. Um, I definitely agree with him. It's not the right time. I don't even think it's the right person. It's, it's not even about time. It's not the right person because I think if they had more time, they would just come to the conclusion without having this paper that, legal, like, le that legally marries them that they're not right for each other. You can still vibe with somebody. You can still like somebody. You can keep keeping somebody. But I think the things that are so important to a marriage they don't have and the th and him even saying that I want to treat my I want to teach my son that you know I me. Mean? he doesn't have to just pay for everything. It's more of, you know, it's an equal society. And he wants to teach his daughter that, you know, she has to be an independent woman and, you know, she could do things for herself and she doesn't have to wait and expect for a man to do something. Again, that's exactly how Maria, it seems to be like that she was raised. So fundamentally they differ. You're not going to change up on the way in which you, you want to parent your children. It's just not going to be like that because of course her culture and her religion is also going to guide the way she wants to parent her children. Now, I'm not going to, I don't want to question her religion or her culture but i just don't think maria all the way lives through that so it's almost like maybe she might pick and choose the things that she wants to do but at the same time i just don't think it's going to work for tom whether she's fully within her culture or fully not in it or picking it picking or whatever the situation is i think he made the right decision i'm now of course her family was shocked but i'm confused why maria was shocked because that should be the same reason why you said no that should have been the same reason but i think she even said oh i wanted to get married i wanted to be a wife so is it a wife or his wife? Maria, baby, that's what, that's what, that's the, what, that sort of, were you married to, you, was you ready to marry to him, to Tom? Were you ready to be Tom's wife? I didn't, she shouldn't be because he's, he was not going to treat you, your children, behave in the way that you find th that a man should treat you or treat a woman, treat your children. You, you guys are not compatible on that. So I think he did them both a favor. If I'm so frank, he did them definitely both a favor. 
Now, moving on to our last couple of today. Look, guys, I'm whizzing through this. I'm not even going to do 15 minutes. Okay. Then the last couple, we have Demi and Oli, and it is their wedding day. Demi definitely feels, and she had, for me, she alluded to, it seemed like, when they weren't together, as in, in each other's company, maybe Oli wasn't making that same degree of effort. She said she could be overthinking the situation, but maybe, like, he was like, oh, we're going to FaceTime. Maybe they didn't FaceTime at all. Maybe the texts were quite sporadic. Maybe he, like, she was texting him in the morning and he would respond in the night. So it's not that same degree of, like, us being in a bubble, us living under each other. Now that I'm not in your face, are you going to make that same degree of effort? I think those are the things that seem to be sh like she seems to be struggling with, and it definitely seems like her heart is saying one thing and her head saying something else. So Demi is definitely not 100% certain, and that same situation goes for Ollie as well. He is unsure. He's definitely over overthinking the situation too. So we don't really know if they're gonna get married or not still till now. Now we see his dad, and I think the relationship between him and his dad seem really, really good. They seem to have a lot of banter, and um, yeah, it was it was at least nice to see somebody that actually knows him because Aaron Pod has literally carried this man on his back. He's been his support system. He done done this and done that and done this and done that. Aaron Pod, honestly, he was a real one for being uh, Ollie's right hand man. Again, Demi was absolutely stunning. That girl is just so beautiful to me. Um, She's just beautiful, honestly. I just, I just love me some Demi. Um, and I'm so glad she's stepping into her confidence. I think she's even radiating. I mean, honestly, there's something about Demi, I don't know. I, I've loved her from day one, but like, oh, I just love to see her, her growth, her, 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 the way she sees herself now. I don't know, I just love everything. Demi, I think they both had really good, good vows, but now having watched the work up to it, I don't think they're gonna get married. Now, who is going to say no? Oh, guys, it's anyone's game, but they're not getting married. They're not, get, they're not getting married. They're not, I don't think they're getting married. No, I don't. I do not. Um, yeah, guys, I do not. I don't think they get married. If, if, they, if they know what's good, I don't, I, I would, I would love them to, but I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not a hundred percent. Like if they get married, then even better, but I, I'm, I'm not a hundred percent and neither are they. And it's fair. It's fine. Um, guys tbc tbc but guys thank you for watching this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i really appreciate it and that's my next video bye